My journey with Jesus started when I was a little girl in the city of Suwon, Korea. When Jesus first called me to this journey, I thought it would be easy. I could hold on to everything I desired. But I had to learn to let go of what I wanted and learn how to follow Him and learn how to walk close to Him. And He will help me get to the eternal home safely. But without knowing, I found I was walking all by myself. Did you help my father stop drinking? I tried, but he didn't want to. It's his choice. Jesus! What did I do wrong? Why do I have to suffer all the time? Does your hand still hurt? Young he when you're hurt, it hurts me too.
there's no pain in our Father's eternal home. I will help you get there. Come and stay close. Jesus, look at that! I want the flowers! Where did they get them? Their parents gave them those flowers. Parents? I will give you flowers when we get to the flower garden. Really? Those flowers are temporary. They will wither and will die soon. I want the flowers now! Where did all the flowers go? Young He, this world is a spiritual world. Many evil spirits will try to hurt you. You will learn how to overcome them, but only if you walk with me. Why do you still have those marks, Jesus? These marks are here to show you that I died for you, so you can be forgiven and live an eternal life in my Father's house. I got so dirty. Forgive me, Jesus. I can't go like this. Young He, you are forgiven, for you believe that I died for you. I have a special plan for you. Will you help them so they can join us in our journey? Until then, I didn't know there were other hurting people. I thought I was the only one who suffered in this world. But Jesus wanted me to help others in this journey. But I wasn't ready to stop looking for those pretty flowers. I wanted those flowers so badly.
I met an American husband, so left Korea to find the American dream. My husband loved me and our children very dearly. However, he had his own calling from God. I wasn't ready to say yes to Jesus. My husband said yes, but I was focused elsewhere. I went into real estate and construction, but soon lost everything to a flood. Then one night a tornado came and destroyed all the buildings. Jesus, are you here? I had lost him somewhere down the road. I was heading toward the eternal home with Jesus, but I was getting tired on the long and rough journey. I wanted to enjoy different things, be just like others. Even there was a time that I was not sure the journey I took with him was real or my imagination. I called him, he didn't answer right away as other times. Even when I became a middle-aged woman, I was always a little girl when I was with Jesus. Young He, that flower is hurting you. But I'm not holding on to it tight. I want this flower. This will keep hurting you. If you hold on to resentment in your heart, they will hurt you and make this journey even harder. Look at all these people. They are all searching for help. Things in this world are only temporary but I can give them something eternal. Will you tell them that I can help them? I wanted to say yes to Jesus, but wasn't sure if I could do it. Jesus asked me to spend 10% of my day with him, reading the Bible and praying to him. Then. 10% became 5 hours every day. I realized for the first time that the Holy Spirit is living in my heart ever since the time I first believed in Him. The Holy Spirit is there to help me walk with Him until I get to the eternal home. I was learning to yield myself to the Holy Spirit. I realized how little I could ever understand my Heavenly Father, even when I tried so hard. I have to remember how God, my loving Father, is leading my life and He will care for me as though I am only a little child.